Speaker. Honourable Chris Finlayson. Mr Speaker, I hope those in the gallery don't mind, but I want to respond immediately to what Mr Horamia said, because he's quite right. Uh, the, the land bank system uh, is under pressure, and I promise him I'm on to it. It's pointless handing over properties after about five or six years that, are, as, as he says, are rotting away or have... Uh, asbestos problems or graffiti problems, it's totally unacceptable uh, and I'll have a chat to him in the very near future because uh, having seen the experience most recently of, uh, I think it was Waverley High School, uh, the situation is most unsatisfactory uh, but I promise him I'm on to it. Like uh, other uh, members, I too welcome representatives of Ngāti Man Manuhiri here for this third uh, reading debate. Uh, thank them for their tireless efforts. It's a great day for them and it's a great day for this Parliament because what happens today is that Parliament gives effect to an agreement entered into between you uh, and the Crown for the settlement of historical claims. It has been a very long claim, although because of the good work I think on both sides, uh, negotiations have gone very, very efficiently and effectively. Ngāti Manuhiri and the Crown signed a deed of settlement on 20 May 2011 at Omaha Marae near Lee. Uh, as I recall, it was a beautiful Saturday morning, well attended by the Ngāti Manuhiri community, supported by representatives of Ngāti Wai, Ngāti Rehua, Ngāti Whātua and other iwi, and a good representation from members of the, the Auckland Council who are very keen to see this and other treaty settlements in the Tāmaki area work well. Well, almost 18 months have passed since then, which may seem um, a long time to some people, but in the context of treaty settlements, not that long at all. Uh, and uh, we've now reached the stage where we are dealing with the third reading, the final reading of the bill. Uh, as Mr Horamia has said, much of the credit uh, goes to the Māori Affairs Select Committee. Uh, they have a wonderful chair in Tohenare, uh, one of my good parliamentary friends and uh, colleagues. And uh, he has really, in the last couple of years, taken the task of treaty settlements under his wing and has done what I think is a superb job. As Mr Horamia said, he navigated... Uh, and the committee worked very hard on the hundred or so submissions and I really want to thank members for their work and for the consensus that was reached. As other speakers have said, Ngāti Manuhiri are a people of the Mahurangi Coast, a beautiful part of New Zealand. Actually, I was very lucky to be driving through it just last Saturday. Uh, their area of interest extends along that coast and inland from Bream Tail in the north to Whangaparoa in the south and includes Hotoru, uh, Little Barrier Island. Today the uh, Ngāti Manuhiri Marae Omaha uh, is the only tribal marae found on the east coast between the north shore of Auckland and Whangarei Harbour. And despite considerable pressures, not least being very high levels of land alienation, Ngāti Manuhiri have kept their fires burning. They are well known for their affiliation to the ocean-going iwi Ngāti Wai, and are indeed represented on the Ngāti Wai Trust Board. Being descendants of the Tupuna Maki, Ngāti Manuhiri are also affiliated to the Te Karorau peoples, and in particular they share descent with certain branches of Ngāti Whātua, Te Karorau Maki and others. Mr Speaker, Ngāti Manuhiri were identified by Sir Douglas Graham as one of the groups the Crown should enter negotiations uh, with in his June 2009 proposal to get negotiations going again in Tāmaki and neighbouring areas. And negotiations between the Crown and Ngāti Manuhiri commenced shortly thereafter and an agreement in principle was signed in June, uh, I'm sorry, in Christmas 2009. Uh, the deed of settlement uh, was signed uh, just as I said uh, just a couple of months ago in 2011. The Ngāti Manuhiri community voted to ratify the settlement at 99.4% in support, and frankly it's difficult to conceive of a higher level of support than that, uh, and I think that common purpose bodes well for the future of the iwi. With the Ngāti Whātua Orake deed and bill, which will also be read today for a third time, 
Uh, this settlement is the first of the negotiations started by Sir Douglas to be concluded. He's not here today, but I too uh, want to acknowledge the very good work of Sir Douglas uh, and my Chief Crown Negotiator, Mike Drever, uh, and the officials in OTS. And I too acknowledge the work and commitment of the Ngāti Manuhiri negotiators. Uh, I too didn't know that Mook's name was Terence, but I'm delighted he's here today. Uh, he's a wonderful negotiator. Uh, he and the, the other negotiators brought a high level of principle, pragmatism and very good sense to the table. Perry Watts acted as both kaumatua and negotiator and, as Mr Horamia has said critically, uh, driving negotiations from the Ngāti Manuhiri side has been that uh, Rangatira Lali Hutton. I th I'm sure Mr Horamea recently re referred to him as an old warrior. Well, I don't know about the adjective, but warrior is certainly right. Uh, he's lived all his life at Pakiri, the uh, Ngāti Manuhiri heartland, and he's a, had a reputation on the rugby field. He's also, well, which I'm sure would appeal to you, Mr Speaker, not bringing you into the debate, of course. And he's been awarded a QSM for services to conservation, in addition to his membership of the Auckland Conservation Board and chairmanship of the Hauraki Golf Forum. And he was a founding member on the management committee of New Zealand's first marine reserve, the Cape uh, Rodney Reserve, uh, otherwise known as Goat Island. Mr Hatton has been a fearless advocate uh, for Ngāti Wai over his, uh, over his, well, for, through the years through his involvement with the Ngāti Wai Trust Board. Mr Speaker, redress to Ngāti Manuhiri through this bill, including redress relating to Te Huturua Toi, or Little Barrier Island Nature Reserve, can be said to reflect Mr Hatton's commitment to tribal advocacy to the environment and to the righting of historical wrongs. The deed of settlement sets out the historical account uh, and as it describes the Crown went to extraordinary lengths to secure title to Te Hotoro Atoi from Ngāti Manuhiri and its other traditional owners of Ngāti Wai descent. A special act in fact was passed, the Little Barrier Island Purchasing Act of 1894 which compulsorily acquired the shares of those owners who refused to sell. Then, in 1896, the remaining owners, who included Ngāti Manuhiri, were forcibly evicted from the island. In addition to the Crown acknowledgement of an apology for these wrongs, Ngāti Manuhiri will retain ownership of 1.2 hectares uh, of the island. This was a key aspiration of Ngāti Manuhiri, and those, uh, that small parcel will provide the community with an important foothold on the island, including the ability to erect uh, an appropriate building. It also makes, the bill also makes provision for the co-governance of the island, particularly in the development of a conservation plan. I want to say something briefly about Clause 96A of the bill. It sets out that other groups can become involved in these provisions of other enactments provide for that. Importantly, through negotiations and in the gift and gift back arrangement, Ngāti Manuhiri acknowledged the significance of Te Hotoro Otoi to all New Zealanders in Nature Reserve, and I want to acknowledge the generosity of Ngāti Manuhiri. A number of concerns were raised before the select committee by members of Ngāti Wai, and I dealt with those in my second reading speech, but I do emphasise in this speech that the bill only settles the historical grievances of Ngāti Manuhiri. The claims of Ngāti Wai are not settled, uh, nor does the redress provided to Ngāti Manuhiri convey exclusive mana whenua over the island to them. When Ngāti Wai enter settlement negotiations with the Crown through an appropriately mandated body, Ngāti Wai aspirations will and can be discussed. Mr Speaker, this has been um, a very much a model negotiation with hard work on both sides uh, and it really is a tribute to everyone that an agreement in principle is signed just before Christmas in 2009, a deed of settlement in June 2011, and we're at this stage uh, in November 2012. So I want to thank Ngāti Manuhiri for their hard work and wish them all the very best for the future. Reno Tirakatni. Mr Speaker.